Let's go. All right. So you guys are out of New York, right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. You've been doing this a while. Yeah, a long time. A while, almost a decade, I think. Yep. <laughs> That's a pretty long time. We've known each other longer than that. That's awesome. All right, so out of all the things you've done, you're playing Lala today. You've done all kinds of things. I'm sure everything from the dive bar to Lollapalooza. Yes. What is your favorite setup or your favorite gig you've ever played? Wow. So, I've got, I mean, I have to say, I love playing in theaters. Like the mid-size, yeah. 1,000, 2,000, kind of like beacon size, like that. Like even the Vic is cool. That size room. There's something really cool about it because you can have the intimacy of a small room, but it's big enough where there's, a, there's like a, you can really fill a room, it's not too loud. Yeah. I mean, it's like, if you can get really good production quality and sound and everything, you're dealing with pros, uh, but it's not overwhelming like arena sounds. So, yeah, cool, cool. I guess that's Dennis. Alright. <laughs> Just ignore him. I got a unique one. Okay. Um, I liked, uh, we played the Great Wall one time. That was cool. That was really crazy. And it was weird. <laughs> it was unique. And we played on a lake in Shenzhen, China. Me and Kristen. Uh, where it started raining. Oh, nice. So that was really intense. It was like a thunderstorm. But oh, we were surrounded by water. Wow. I really enjoyed it. Even though it was dangerous. <laughs> I really like But that's what makes it more fun. Yeah, I thought it was exactly. fun. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so of all the gigs you played, all the different lineups you've been on, all the bills, what's the best bill that you think you've been on? I mean, you got everything from Chance and Blink-182 to anybody else you can think of. Okay. What's your favorite um, that favorite you were just bill? like, oh my god, I'm playing on the same bill as this person? Okay, Pink, uh, Pink Pop and, actually no, it was uh, uh, Belgium yep. festival we did. And we, we opened the stage with Paul McCartney so first. Wow. That was pretty epic. That was like really. And his crew was setting up while we were playing. Uh, and we all checked us out, sharing the same backstage area. Uh, that was pretty amazing. It's always good. He's like a, you know, it's Paul McCartney. He's Paul McCartney. He's, and he's still so good. The band is so good. Uh, the show was amazing. You know, he's old enough that he could just, he could just like walk on stage and fart and people would still pay <laughs> thousands of dollars. So for him to be still make, you know, have that quality and really be. The engaged, thing is, it's true. And it's really true. Really really and his band is like amazing. That was an epic day. So that was one of my favorites. Oh, I can imagine. So you guys have been playing a lot of places, you're doing tours and all this kind of stuff. So something I'm looking for is any tip that you have for a new band going on the road. So what do they need to do to stay healthy or what are what is it that you think that every band should know? Uh, stay out of Missouri. Stay out of Missouri. Okay, got it. <laughs> um, uh, keep the vibe strong. That's like keep a good attitude. Because when you show up, especially as a young man, um, you bring a positive attitude. People that have, that have to work with you um, are going to be that much easier to work with. And you, you need their help, so you want to get on people's good side, you know. Yeah, it's just important. Be, just, yeah. It's important to be positive. Yeah, yeah. like be, be good to, when you show up, you know, introduce yourself to the crew. Yeah. Like if you're at a venue, be cool to the sound guy, be cool to the lighting guy, like the security guy. Be nice to everyone. The, the staff, just be nice to, be respectful, don't show up like you're the shit and like they're here to serve you and you know. Show up with that attitude, it rubs people the wrong way, and then you they, they make your job harder, or you make their job harder. And as a young band, it's really it's really important on all levels, you know. But it has to start with in the beginning, just bringing that energy. You know, part of that is keeping a good attitude with yourself. Like if you're in the band, keeping a good vibe. That's, you know. Cool. <laughs> all right. So along those lines, when you're playing your set, let's say you just tank it. It's horrible. What do you do? Are you flipping out? Do you need a moment to decompress before you discuss it? What do you do? <laughs> if like you're, you're like sucking you're just like, oh my god, I suck today. <laughs> what? Sometimes How do I get up days. tomorrow? Sometimes you gotta have those things. I mean, you gotta go through that. Yeah. You gotta remind yourself why you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, you gotta step away for a second. Yeah, and, and, and you can't, you can't let what, a moment define your, your journey. I think so. Yeah. You can't let a, you can't let a moment to find your job. Yeah, if you're in it for the right reasons, 
you find a way to get through that. If you're in it, you know, for like superficial reasons, then that might actually throw your whole thing off. You know? Yeah, like I feel like if you're if it's a means of expression, you can never tank. Like I've go. never there felt I've never felt like I've we've been tanked the show. I felt like I've not been able to express myself the way I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm like, man, I'm not playing the way I want. I don't sound what I want to sound. Yeah. That's not it's not like the same thing as like a comedian bombing, you know, or people are booing. Yeah. That does happen to me. It's been that does happen. It does, yeah. We have not <laughs> luckily been had beer bottles thrown at us or like eggs thrown or well, we played we played for the wrong audiences before. A thousand percent. Definitely. And it, it makes you feel like total shit. And it's awkward and it's weird. But you gotta remember that all your favorite bands went through that. Yeah. Everyone yeah. that you ever liked or were influenced by went through the same as I And if you're in it for expression, it doesn't matter. The audience kind of doesn't matter. That outcome doesn't matter. Right. And, and, sometimes, and sometimes, if you're tanking, that might actually mean you're doing something right. Woo. If the audience is it. not on your level, it's like they're, they're not caught up with it. They're like, not ready. Right. Sometimes. Yeah. So it's good to remind yourself of all these things. Yeah. So you guys have been together for a very long time, and you've known each other longer. Yeah. How do you maintain those friendships and that chemistry that you need? There are so many bands out there that just, you know, somebody get, becomes a little too diva, and you've yeah. got issues. Yeah. How do you deal with that, or do you really have to? What's your understanding of you know? Have you had that problem before? Well, not that much. I mean, at this point, it's like family, you know? Yeah. You treat it like a family. It's a brotherhood. Yeah. So there's, a, there's an inherent respect. And, there's, and there's all, we always put the music first. So we, never, we, don't, we learn not to take shit personally. Yeah. It usually, usually never is. The goal is bigger than both of us. It's yeah. Not. And the show is what's important. The music's what's important. And we bring that, you know, we bring that energy to it. But it's hard. It's hard. It's like family, like siblings. You know, you go through shit, and, and life happens to you. Life, yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta go through things together. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So, a couple more questions. Uh, the first one is, you know, uh, we're recording this. We're gonna put it out, and we want to give you the opportunity. You've seen a lot of great people out here. You're gonna see a lot during your set. Um, if you could have one major shout out to all your fans and all the new ones you're making today. What would you tell them? Tell all the new fans? Yeah. <laughs> tell all the old and all the new. Um, Everybody here today, what do they need to know? I, uh, be good to each other? I don't know. We love you. <laughs> Shout outs to you. Shout outs to you. <laughs> um, keep your ears open. Keep your eyes open. Keep your heart open. So. Awesome. Yeah. One more question. All right, so this one's a little tough. Both of you have to answer it. If you could choose one song, not of your own, to be included on a soundtrack about your life, what song would it be? <laughs> Somewhere on that soundtrack, what's the song? Uh, what's the song? I don't know. Um, I got one. Spotty Ops. Spotty Ops. Uh, How do we pronounce Spodio it? Spotty Dopalicious. Thank you. Spotty Odi Dopalicious. There you go. Yeah. I can't really top that. I'll say, okay. Um, I'll say William Devon. Be thankful for what you got. Good, good. Excellent choice. Thank you guys so much.